Hello everyone. I want to make a quick video showing how to troubleshoot and understand why an outboard motor may not be going full speed for more than one or two minutes. This is different than an outboard motor that dies pretty much immediately at full speed. So for example, if it's going at full speed and it dies immediately, it can still be multiple different things, but this jet that sprays fuel into the engine, if this is clogged, for example, the engine might run fine at slow or medium speed, but as soon as you go full speed, the jet simply cannot provide enough fuel flow due to the constriction in here or in the orifice in the bowl down here. At this point, the engine pretty much dies right away or cannot go full speed. However, it's a little more difficult to troubleshoot when the motor goes full speed for say two or three minutes and then it starts dying or it dies. You wait a minute, squeeze the fuel bulb, turn it up. The motor works perfectly at idle, maybe even medium speed, but the second you turn it at full speed, after two or three minutes, it dies, but it's always after a few minutes. And I wanted to explain why this happens, this few minute part. So this is the carb fuel bowl. So there's fuel in here. As you make the motor go full speed, this is full. So it's currently it's running at idle and all the fuel is full. If your motor is running fine at full speed for these two or three minutes, that means it is sucking up all the fuel in here through the pickup tube. And as the fuel lowers, the float goes down and sucks in more and more gas into the main chamber that holds all the gas. At this point, this, this is where the motor dies. So this means that all the gas that's being used up in this bowl, your motor's running fine at full speed. Your pump is adding more fuel to here. And suddenly after two or three minutes, the motor dies. This means that there is no issue with the full speed, but the fuel is not able to keep up producing fuel and filling the bowl. So even say, if you're able to fill it 80% as fast, that might mean you can go full speed for three or four or five minutes, but slowly, slowly and slowly, the gas will go down here and eventually it will run out because your pump or there's constriction or something that is just preventing from the fuel from filling up fast enough into the chamber will kill it. And it's really just, it's, it's kind of hard to figure this out because it seems to work fine. Why does it always die after just a few minutes? And, and this is really why, because the motor has this reserve of fuel. So for example, Literally, even if you were to just disconnect the fuel lines from this, the motor could still go full speed for a little bit until the gas in here ran out and it would die. So all this means is you're, you're essentially not able to fill up the carburetor fast enough to keep the engine working. This is why when you uh, turn the key and prime the pump or squeeze the bulb, your motor might sit for a little bit, give it two or three minutes, maybe five minutes. It'll start right up. It'll work perfectly at idle speed. Everything will work great. It might work perfectly fine at medium speed, but as soon as you break that threshold where you're using the gas faster than you're filling it up, that's what causes the motor to die. And once this bowl is filled, I mean, once the bowl is empty and your motor dies, the fuel pump is no longer pumping fuel. So that's why when you turn the key immediately after, it tends to not start right up, but after fiddling a minute or two, it works again. So, uh, Hope you understand that. It's, it's kind of like a simple troubleshooting step, but it, it can be kind of hard to just figure out why everything's working fine and then three minutes later it bogs down. It Most likely, in my cases, I've had it be a fuel filter and a little filter in the fuel tank, uh, dirty hoses, just dirt in the fuel lines, a bad, water, a bad fuel pump, just a poorly screwed on hose or even just a hose that has a small leak in it, so something that's not perfectly tight and is just not creating enough suction to get all that gas in there. Just remember that the, when the motor is running full speed, it needs a lot of gas, which means if it's just, it's getting 90% of that gas, even if it's getting 95% of that gas, it's not getting 100%, which means once it runs out, it will die. It needs to get 100% of the gas it needs in order to go full speed. Otherwise it will die in an X amount of time that it takes for that fuel to run out. So hope this helps.